Get up, said you. Uh, time to get to work, you lazy bones. Yeah, come on, lazy bones. Wake up. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I can't, uh, can't remember how to call the train. Just let me sleep a little longer. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, do we need to pull this little string here? Don't try to pull one over on me, young man. Your fading disorder has been cured. <laughs> I saw you chugging cup after cup of magic tonic in the tavern last night. Uh, you must be mistaken, Grandpa Alman. That guy definitely wasn't me. <laughs> nice. Oh, you remember my name now, do you? Then it seems like you're all better. You had no idea who I was when you were fading. Now, enough of your nonsense. Get up. <laughs> the fairy and her friends are going to be here any second. Oh, we are here. All right. I'm up. I'm up. The Maritime Express should be here soon. <laughs> That's more like it. Ah, lie there any longer and you'll start gathering dust. Yeah. Uh, Nobody likes dusty okay? paper. The hero, his pixie companion, and the forest fairy. Oh, I, I didn't know you were already here. <laughs> Merciful macadamias. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry you had to see that. Merciful macadamias. I love the things that he says. It's so funny. Oh, it's all right. Hey, ho, pistachio. Who doesn't want to sleep in first thing in the morning? Does the Maritime Express run out of Constellation Metropole? Uh, yes, e each train needs a conductor to operate, and the conductors are always from the capital. The more difficult maneuvers are a little too complicated when you're made of paper. So what are they made out of? Oh, so you mean the people of Constellation Metropole aren't origami animals like you? Well, the, the city welcomes visitors from all over the world, so you're bound to run into some forest dwellers there. But yes, generally speaking, the residents of Constellation Metropole look quite different from us. Interesting. Ah, you'll see for yourself soon enough. Who is it? No way, it's Kirara. Oh my gosh! It's a little toy! <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is awesome. Nice to meet you, everyone. <laughs> My name is Will, and I'll be the conductor for your journey today. I'm assuming you're the one who called the train. I love him. Are you kidding? Whoa, it's a little toy man. Well, howdy. <laughs> yes, we, we called the train. The hero and the forest fairy need a ride to Constellation Metropole. <laughs> I love his voice. The hero and the forest fairy. The ones from the prophecy. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> well, why didn't you say so earlier? We could have prepared a far more luxurious train. I'll just go back and get a better one. <laughs> this is Boo Hill's son. That's okay, Mr. Wheel. We're trying to get to the city as fast as possible. We just need you to get us across the sea. In your capable hands, I'm sure we'll get there in no time. Uh, of course, my lady. It would be an honor. Well, shine my slippers. Well, then, all aboard, sit anywhere you like. We'll get a stunning view of Simulanka no matter where you're seated. All right, let's see. Is he a good driver? Oh. <laughs> Who is sleeping oh, on there? Breakfast. Who's up there? Wakey, wakey. Uh, not me. Wasn't me either. Hmm. Paimon, was that your stomach? <laughs> uh, breakfast. Um, oh, come back. It's not Kirara, is it? Hmm. Sounds like the voice is coming from inside the train. Is it Kirara? Uh, it is! <laughs> fish. <laughs> I see the little cat paw. Chicken drumsticks. Oh, <laughs> oh. Look at that peeking out to the train. What the? What's cute? Aww. Here? Eating her own tail, apparently. <laughs> I love her outfit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. 
Is she a friend of yours? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Oh, let definitely me not a see. house pet. This is Kirara. She's. Oh wait, actually, maybe we should wake her up first. <laughs> Is it morning already? <laughs> Good meowning! Kirara! Wow, this is actually the first time we're meeting her in-game. Oh, morning? Huh? Huh? Traveler! Paimon! I I it's you? Uh, hello? Which means... Oh, thank goodness! It was all a dream after all! <laughs> Oh, gotta hand it to my imagination. It all felt <laughs> super real. There were these toy people, but they were alive and they could talk. Uh, no, not a dream. It is actually real. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <clears throat> Madam, sleeping overnight <laughs> in the train car is prohibited. <laughs> Madam, you're under arrest. <laughs> is she an outlaw? It, it wasn't just a dream. <laughs> it's all right, Kiara. Apparently, we're in a world called Simulanka. We got here yesterday, too. Simulanka? So, that's what it's called. I spent all day yesterday wandering around this one city. Uh, the toy people called it Constellation Metropole. I was trying to find a way to get back home. Yep, so you met all of the toys and have not met the origami animals. That's gonna really blow her mind. I'm seriously starting to think I had gotten on the bad side of some great yokai and gotten swallowed whole. Huh. I take it you're Hinazuman then, Miss Kirara? She sure is. But, uh, Kirara here is kinda special. Let Paimon introduce you for real this time. Kirara is a Nekomata from Inazuma. She works as a courier for Komania Express. Huh. Nice to meet you. I'm Nilu, a member of Zubair Theater. You can usually find us performing in Sumeru City's Grand Bazaar. Right now, though, I suppose I should introduce myself as the Fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Oh, you're Nilu! I've heard a lot about you from my deliveries in Sumeru. I even saw one of your performances back in the day. You're an amazing dancer. But, uh... Did you say you were a <laughs> forest fairy? Oh, yeah, that's her new identity here in Simulanka. Oh, speaking of new yep. identities, looks like you got a new outfit yourself, Kirara. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, I know. It confused the heck out of me yesterday. I just woke up in a set of brand new clothes I'd never seen before. What are you, three musketeer? That must mean you have a big part to play here, too. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, as a Nekomata in boots? Is, is that a thing? I guess I am wearing a pair of boots, but still. Yep. Did you by any chance hear a voice speaking to you before you got here, Miss Kirara? A voice. Oh, yeah, I did hear something, but I was so freaked out my tails got all tangled. <laughs> so I, uh... <laughs> Didn't catch much of what was said. <laughs> oh no. S sorry for the interruption. Yeah, do they know who she is? But this uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? Uh, I mean, maybe she is part cat. Or frogs? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, frogs too. Oh, no need to worry, little guys. I would never do something like that. Well, unless I've been out in the wild too long without yep, there anything you go. to eat. Well, speaking of eating, I am getting a little hungry. <laughs> so you might want to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd. <clears throat> Where are your manners, everyone? Uh, this young lady is a trusted friend of our esteemed hero. Now, I know... All right, Grandpa, fill us in. ...into us with ink, but I'm certain Miss Necromata in boots here <laughs> means us no harm. Sure looks like you're keeping your distance, though, Grandpa Holmond. Oh, my God! <laughs> you will have nothing to fear, I promise. I met some origami animals in Constellation Metropole yesterday. Okay, so she already did I meet them. I even made sure to retract my claws so I didn't hurt them by accident. Wow, that was really nice of you. 
Plus, you all look just about as tasty as the cardboard boxes I deliver. <laughs> uh, not that I'd try to eat you even if you did look tasty. <laughs> Promise. Please excuse us, Mom. Uh, it's just an unconscious reaction. <clears throat> Dear passengers, it's almost time for us to depart. <laughs> Wheel is getting very, uh, he oh, needs yeah, to go. Hey, tulips? This turned into a pretty long time. He's getting impatient. All right, let's get on the train. You coming with us, Kiwara? Mm-hmm. I'll ride with you to the next stop. There's a place near the Metro Bowl that caught my eye yesterday, so I want to go explore it today. All right, but don't fall asleep on the train. Then all that remains for me to say is... On behalf of the Forest of Blessings, thank you once again for all you've done for us. Hear, hear. May the Goddess of Fate be with you and bless your journey. Madam Fairy, Miss Nekomata in Boots, and our brave <laughs> heroes. Please do visit us in the Forest of Blessings again, once peace has returned to this land. Thank you, Grandpa. We will. We'll definitely meet again. Take care, Grandpa Almond. Bye-bye. All right. They once walked the starry sky. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, wait. Okay. Why is there two? What if I want to get in the blue one? All right, wheel. All right, so we got to connect them. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I want to sit over here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to go wheelie fast. <laughs> oh, you get it? Wheelie. Fast. His name is Wheel. Wow. All right. A train ride uh, I apologize. What an incredible view. Yeah. Please keep your head and arms inside the train at all times. Wow. Don't want anyone falling into the sea. This is really beautiful. There's a train coming the other hey! way. Hey. Hey, how's Pistachio? Now that the fading disorder is cured. I'm sure the forest will be a lively place again in no time. I gotta go explore that forest at some point. It looked so pretty from the train. Wait, what forest? I just hope they, uh, won't be too scared of me. This we'll is be awesome. We'll at our destination shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Roger that! Wow. How was that, huh? Here we are. Constellation Metropole is right over there. It's a short walk from here to the Gear Sky Ladder, which will take you right to Metropole Square. And thank you again for choosing Maritime Express. No, no, thank you. Great. And thanks to you for a smooth and pleasant journey, Mr. Wheel. Yeah. The train cars were comfortable and spacious, and I had a great night's sleep. I'll definitely be back. <laughs> Left a review. Um, as you wish, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, he was a real nice toy. Where should we go next? Is that place you wanted to check out nearby? Mm-hmm. I took a walk around yesterday, and it felt like there was something weird about it. So, I think I'll indulge my curiosity and go investigate. You know what they said about curiosity and cats? Want us to come with you? It's okay. You guys go ahead and visit the Metropole for now. Hopefully no, no, no. I want to go with you. To find out some more about this world. I pretty much explored the whole place from the rooftops yesterday, but <laughs> for some reason, this is the place that caught my attention. Okay, well, not, I am curious, so I want to see it. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like, when you get a stone stuck in your claw or something, it keeps nagging at you to dig it out, but you can't focus on anything else until you do. Uh, yeah, Totally. Don't worry. If you run into any trouble, I'll be there faster than you can say gold level courier of the Comania Express. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We'll head to the Metropole then. Okay. Yes, this is where we say bye for now. Yeah, stay safe, Kirara. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about me. Let's not forget, I'm a yokai. 
All right. She'll be okay. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire today. Oh, I love the music so much. I can't wait to look inside of this city. This is going to be so cool. All right. So I'm going to guess that a bridge has to come out of that little area over there. Oh, man. I wonder what other types of toys there are inside of this city. Like, look at these guys. They are so adorable. Help me! Uh-oh. A toy is in need. Oh, my gosh. What Help happened? <laughs> oh, oh, goddess of prophecy above. Would you kind souls please help us? Uh, yeah. Do you need us to wind you up? What happened here? Why are you all suspended in midair? <laughs> I mean, being stuck in midair still beats falling to the ground and being smashed into a pile of blocks. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. <sighs> I told him to be careful, but no. Never mind. Now's not the time for that. My good friends, could I trouble you to turn the clockwork key over uh -huh. there? I'll explain everything in a bit. Okay. Turn the clockwork key. Where is it? Okay, right here. All right. Mm-hmm. No! Rewind all of the way. There we go. Now they're going to be A-okay. That's as far as he can go. Let's go. Who needs to read tutorials? Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, what happened there? It almost seemed like we turned back time. Yeah, it didn't affect us, though, which is very interesting. I take it this is your first time witnessing the power of the Goddess of Prophecy, then? If so, I can see why you might think that. Basically, this is a gift bestowed upon Constellation Metropole by the Goddess of Prophecy, who rules over the natural course of all things. It helps those who have deviated from their proper path to get back on track. Hmm. Proper path? Okay. Do you mean everything that happens in the Metropole has been planned out since the very beginning? Written! Because it's a book. Why are you saying that as if it's a bad thing? You're not explaining it. This clearly. is like the never ending Here, story. Allow me. Of course, all the residents of the Metro It's a living have the world live inside of a lives. book. For instance, whether I use olive oil or sesame oil in my morning skincare <laughs> routine is entirely my choice. But whenever something disastrous is about to happen, like when I almost got turned into a pile of rubble just now, the goddess's magic will activate in the world around us. So, in other words, it's kind of protection magic to keep people alive? You could say that. There are other situations in which it activates too, but that's basically correct. Huh. Well, in any case, we're glad no one's hurt. Are you heading to the Constellation Metropole? Why, yes we are, Blue Shay. Yep. Do you know where we can find the Gear Sky Ladder? Oh, it's just that platform up ahead. The one with the key sticking out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that thing? Um, are you sure? I mean, they live here. I would imagine they would know. Yep, that's the one. Pretty much everything in the Metropole runs on tracks and gears. The Goddess of Prophecy watches over it all. Which is to say, all the tracks are fixed. If a machine is set up to move forwards, it'll never move in reverse. This reminds Paimon a lot of Fontaine's clockwork toys. Hmm. You mean, like those music boxes with dancing figures? I think I've seen one or two from the merchants in Sumeru. Yeah, exactly like that. Anyway, sounds like it's not gonna suddenly fall out of the sky, so Paimon's okay now. Should we get going? <laughs> Alright, let me get my chest. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go and figure out how to work this thing. So we just gotta hit it. Oh. 
That is so cool! Let me get off! Thank you. Welcome to Metropole! Look at all of these toys! Look, he's guarding the place with his little toothpick. Oh my gosh. This place is awesome. Our next step is to get to the top of the Metropole and ask the goddess of prophecy for guidance. If there is a king in that castle, I sure hope he won't get mad at us for trespassing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why is it that we're always wanted? Please tell me we're not under arrest. Oh, jeez. Oh, I told them not to put cobblestone in here. It's too dangerous for wind-up toys. Make way for the king. <laughs> Who's the king? Oh, darn, we jinxed it. Oh, Who's the yeah. king? Um, did he overhear us talking about us sneaking I know. His Come on. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> he's not mad. Silence. Okay, 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 okay. The one who shall soon stand before you is the ruler of Constellation Metropole. The one who descended after a meteor shower and the protector of order and all the stars in the sky. Wow, okay, fancy. <laughs> That's a long list of titles. <laughs> I bid ye welcome. Oh my gosh. Long have it's I heard of your you. grand deeds. Oh fairy. No the way. Of the forest. Oh, hero, who, uh, uh, huh? I, really quick, I must ask you a question. Why do you have one? <laughs> Hold your foul Oh, jeez. How dare you utter Her Majesty's name. Whoa, please forgive our transgressions. <laughs> nice one, partner. Spectacular <laughs> improvisation skills. I'd expect no less from you. Wow! All right, all right. You can relax now. Allow me to make some introductions. This is the Traveler and his trusty companion, Paimon. I cannot believe she's the king. You are personal friends with Her Majesty the King? Please, forgive our grievous mistake. We had no idea. I mean, that's okay. I mean, how, how would you know, really? <clears throat> it's fine, all Frank. All right, the welcome ceremony is over. Everyone back to your stations. I will personally treat our guests to some royal hospitality. Yes, your majesty. I lurk her crown. Your majesty, we are most grateful for you. Oh, come on. I've already sent them off. So anyway, how did you guys get here? We were going to ask you the same thing. Also, how are you already king of this nation? And where did you get a crown? <laughs> Don't say it. You just woke up like this, right? Sounds like you've answered your own question. She but looks good without a hat. I woke up, I heard a voice say to me, You are the king of Constellation Metropole. Now go forth and save your city. I wonder who is setting this up, you know? A similar thing happened to me. Oh, yeah, sorry. You must be the it's fairy official. of the Forest of Blessings, right? Mm -hmm. This is Nilu, a friend that we made during our time in Sumeru. Nice to meet you, Miss Nilu. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. If you ever get the chance to go to Fontaine, make sure you come and visit me. I'm based in Poisson. Yeah, and we don't actually have to worry about the prophecy anymore, so there's no flooding in Fontaine. Seems like you're taking this all in stride. Aren't you nervous about getting stuck here and never being able to get back home? Why would I be worried about that? We've faced much bigger problems than this before, and we always pull through. This should be a piece of cake. <laughs> what? Dude, why are these toys tripping? <laughs> Besides, life's always full of surprises. You gotta learn to just enjoy it. That sounds like a great outlook on life. <laughs> you have a very optimistic spirit. Thanks. I'll take that. 
Honestly, though, it also puts me at ease to find out that you guys are the fairy and heroes that I've been hearing about in this prophecy. <laughs> We're kind of veterans at dealing with prophecies by yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> she said it. Uh, about that, has anything bad happened in the Metropole? We heard about an evil dragon. Did it make a mess here, too? It sure did. Apparently, for whatever reason, he went for the stars above the city recently. Oh. Literally just flew up and started snatching them out of the sky. Interesting. Luckily, the guards responded quickly and stopped the Watch dragon from taking them back to his lair. <laughs> Look. Unfortunately, though, he dropped them before he flew off. Now they're scattered all around the metropole. I've been out trying to retrieve them, but I only managed to get one of them before you showed up. Oh, I didn't ask yet. What brings you to the Metropole anyway? Oh, Paimon can explain. Yeah, please do. Uh-oh. Huh. I okay, see. okay. So, you want to consult the Oracle of the Goddess of Prophecy. Do you know how we can do that, Miss Navia? Well... The goddess's statue is indeed at the top of the castle. I can take you up there. Oh, I can't wait to see it. However, I've heard from the citizens here that the goddess hasn't given out any new revelations in a very long time. Really? But Grandpa Almond told us that he received his prophecy from the goddess. Oh, that's probably because the prophecy about the hero of Simulanka has been around for a very long time. But recently, people realized that the goddess didn't reveal anything about what's supposed to happen after peace has been restored. Oh. Huh. Okay. Still, it's probably can't hurt because your luck. you know the story and is maybe over. You can help me get rid of the invaders while we're at it. Invaders? Invaders? So the dragon's not your only problem? Right. The forest isn't the only place where strange things have been happening to the residents. Uh-oh. Have you come across the gift from the goddess of prophecy yet? You mean the protection magic that stops them from coming to harm? We saw it in action. Yep, that's the one. Over the past little while, this magic has been triggering far more frequently. We don't know if it's simply because the Metropole has grown a lot more dangerous, or if there's a deeper reason behind it. Some residents find themselves getting stuck in a place <laughs> and unable to move. Others <laughs> start repeating the same thing over and over again. Oh like my! Some kind of loop. If we were to use clockwork toys as an analogy, could it be that the tracks have eroded <laughs> or the gears have slid out of place? That's exactly right, Nilu. That's basically what's happening. Anyway, some of the monsters outside the city saw this as an opportunity to launch an invasion. Uh, but we didn't see a single monster right, yeah. here. I was just thinking that. That's because I already took care of most of them over the past couple of days. Okay, show of off. Of the remaining few, we trapped some of them inside the castle and chased the rest back out of the city. Okay, so to summarize. Okay, so let's go to the castle, the take them out. Gotten all messed up, but the dragons also knocked some of the stars out of the sky. Plus, there's a bunch of monsters in the city. <laughs> Whew, sounds like there's a lot more to fix here than in the Forest of Blessings. Yep, time to get sweaty. Well, defeating the dragon and the monsters should be straightforward enough. But how do we fix the magic? Supposedly, the goddess has had it all planned out for ages. One of her oldest prophecies says this. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Huh? But weren't the tracks the gift that she gave to her people in the first place? Does that mean she plans to take the gift back? Hmm. That's what the prophecy seems to be saying, yes. So, as a result, some people are against turning the gear, despite what the prophecy says, since they fear a future where they no longer enjoy the goddess's protection. But letting this drag on isn't the answer either, is it? No. And I think they know that. 
but they're just too afraid to take that final, terrifying step. They're still hoping there might be an alternative solution. I mean, I don't think there would be, right? Either we turn it or we don't. No. We could ignore their objections and go turn the gear ourselves. But... You want to be considerate of their feelings. Exactly. You know me well. And that's why you're my partner. Yes, I am. I want to get as many people on my side as possible. At the end of the day, this is their city. And they should have the right to decide its future. Okay. Ooh, spoken like a true wise king, Navia. I am the boss of Spina di Rosula, after all. This may be my first time as a king, but there are a few similarities between the two roles. Traveler, Paimon, Miss Nilu, would you be willing to lend me your support? Absolutely, your highness. With your help, I'm confident we'll be able to find the most frictionless way to resolve the problems plaguing this city. It would be my great honor, your majesty. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> your majesty is definitely growing on me. I'd call her that forever. Seriously, like we'd ever say no. We're your friends. No need to ask us so formally in the future. She is forever King Navia. I'm happy to help too. This is a beautiful city. And just like the Forest of Blessings, I would love to see it return to normal as soon as possible. Ah. Great. As the king of Constellation Metropole, I extend to you my gratitude. All right, everyone, follow me. I'll show you the way to the goddess statue at the top of the Metropole. And stay close. You don't want to get lost in my castle. It's huge. Oh, really? All right, let's go take a little peek. I want to see. What do these guys want? Boom! Count me in. I want to play some hide and seek. Toy figures have hidden themselves. All right. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Whoa, you're a big boy. There's three of you. All right. I cannot leave the area. They're inside of this area. They be up top. Oh, another another paper bird. Are you leaving? No, I'm not leaving. No. This is the hardest game of hide and seek I've ever played. I am not leaving. Ah, I found you. Ha. I see you. I see you. All right, boom. One. One found. I'm not leaving. Don't you dare. Get me the I'm not. I'm not. Where are the other ones up there? No. Oh, come on. Where's Oh, okay, okay. They are sneaky. No, okay, I can't go over there. I is nope, can't go up there. Where in the heck are they? Not down here, are they? No! Dang it. Count me in. Yes, I want to play hide and seek. All right, we know one is over here. Oh, wait, whoa. Oh my gosh. Laying down in the bushes. One, two. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, baby. Oh, man. I cannot believe it took me so many tries to do that. A well-deserved find. Woo! Another chest. 
There are so many different chests. Okay. Let's play together. When I turn around, don't move a muscle. Okay, this is like red light, green light. Okay, okay, okay. Aha! This is this is red light, green light. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. No. Go, go. I'm not moving. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, 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 ready, set, go! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, man, wait a minute! Abandon the challenge, I failed! What do you mean I failed? I made it to him! Oh, he's cheating. He is cheating. Okay, boom. To run. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't push me! <laughs> Hello, buddy boy. Turn around. Surrender. Got you. I win. Hi. My perseverance. Oh, my gosh. Off. Okay, what a game, guys. What a game. Huh? What's this? Yeah, what is that? That's one of the stars. Wait. This looks like the star I found earlier. I told the guards to place it near the goddess statue. Maybe they ran into some trouble up there. Uh-oh. Guess we'd better hurry. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta say, I am pretty sure that I am taking the most difficult way to the highest point in the city, just like I always do, you know? Uh, why take the main path to Liyue? Just go through Dragon Spine. That's what my brain says. Um, and now, uh, how, where do you go to get to the highest point? Well, obviously, we have to scale the whole castle. That's the most logical way, right? So if you are enjoying today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I am loving this quest. Loving this new area. It is so much fun. So many things to do. Is that Mona? Oh my goodness. Is that one of the witches? I can't move. Oh no. What happened? They're stuck. Your majesty, this conservative radical, he attacked us. He threw the star from the astral garden and even stole the magic thread linking the oracle pillars. Oh no. But just as we were about to arrest him, the goddess's magic activated and now we can't move. What? No, nobody touched the celestial gear. <laughs> What's an oracle pillar? You need to use it to pray to the goddess. I'll explain later. First, let's help these guys. Yeah, I agree. Let's help. Okay, stop there. Don't move. Uh-huh. Yep, that looks good. Boom. Bombs away. All right, we can't do anything with these because there's no thread. All right, you're stuck. Stop right there. Hey, he's, hey, he's getting away still. Halt. It's okay. Let him go. Okay. But your majesty. Even if we catch up to him now, we won't be able to change his mind, much less quell the fear that many others like him are feeling. All it would do is turn him further against us. Hmm. Understood, your majesty. Also, this is the magic thread he was holding from the oracle pillar. Oh, good, you got your majesty, it. What should we... Ah, please give that to the traveler over there. 
I believe they have some questions for the goddess. Yes, your majesty. Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to talk to her. Thank you so much, Daddy. Olivier. So, what do we do with this exactly? Mm, yeah, actually, I don't know. Uh, see those oracle pillars over there? Yep. Just use the magic thread to connect them together in a specific pattern. Okay. And the goddess of prophecy will answer your prayers. All right, yeah, easy oh. enough. Sounds easy enough. Let's give it a try. Paimon! I... Why? She always says exactly what I say. And that cloud looks like a dinosaur. Oh, my gosh. I literally said that sounds easy enough. And wouldn't you know it, she says the same thing. <laughs> she, she's got to get out of my brain. I'm starting to think, is Genshin not real? Is Genshin part of me? Oh, it's a Primo gem. I'll take that. It worked. Okay, perfect. Those look almost like uh, Conrian stars. To which course of fate do you seek answers, my child of Simulanka? Is this uh is this the old hag? Um, ask about Simulanka's future. Huh? Ask about Simulanka's future? Huh. Maybe if we ask it multiple times, eventually she's going to get annoyed. And then she's going to be like, fine, all right, I'll tell you. No. Okay. Maybe Simulanka doesn't have a future because the book is already written and there isn't a book to yet. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, ask how to resolve the Metropole's crisis. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Okay. How do we defeat the dragon? The hero from another world supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. Okay. I feel like we're missing Kirara. I mean, we, we saw her earlier. Now she's just lost in the woods, probably eating mice. How do we leave this world? Okay, that's fine. Hey, <laughs> you know, uh, that's fine. You can ignore me. But I will sit here all day until you answer me, statue of the goddess of prophecy. All right, whatever. I have so, no more questions. Miss Navia was right. The goddess of prophecy didn't tell us anything about the future. Yeah, she kind of sucks. Fair enough. Guess we'll just have to play it by ear. All right, if we want to push the celestial gear, let's hop to it. Then first, we have to restore the sky back to its original state by putting the stars back in their positions. But it looks like we haven't recovered all the lost stars yet. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Well, at least we know what we're looking for now. We just need to keep going. That said, the Metropole is huge. Where do we even start? Yeah, and how many stars are we looking for? Oh, that's the easy part. I already compiled a list of the lost stars' locations based oh. on eyewitness reports from across the city. Here you go. They should all be marked. All right, cool. All right. Would you mind going around and fetching them for me? I have a few other things to take care of. Uh, I, I guess. You got it. We'll be back in no time. All right, please don't be a lot. Oh, awesome. In that case, meet me back here once you've found them all. Okay. Find the stars. Hey, Navi, what uh, are you doing are after them? Found them all? Oh, no, actually, I need some more time. Sure. No worries. I'll be right here. So just come find me once you retrieve them. I'm counting on you. Okay. All right. Let's go grab them. After we get this bird. Oh, there's another bird. Was it on? Oh, it's below. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, starlight, star bright, baby. Well, hello there. Ow! 
Boom, baby! <laughs> Can't see. Okay. So close. Boom. Mind the side of the force. Shadow Raider. All right. Your sins weigh upon your soul. I kind of feel like the stars potentially were right in that courtyard. Knock it off. Guilty. Let's nip that in the butt. Knock Remember. it off. Where are you going? Judgment is upon There we go. You're wasting my time, shield guy. Jeepers. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, a star! <laughs> I walked right past it! <laughs> I'm observant. Trust me, I was going to pick it up. I wanted to see if you went into the comments and were like, KB, you just ran past the star. I know I did. So good on you all that saw that star. Mind the side of Midnight, Midnight. Mm -hmm. Your sins weigh All right, here we go. Ready? Good night. Good night. This is Sino's bedtime story. No, 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 no. Enough of that. Can't see. I hear everything. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. Yep. Ow! Jeez. A bitter pill to All right, leave it to us. I come up here, collect some stuff. Thank you very much. Let's go get this chest. So it's literally inside. Oh, the star's right there. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Defend the stars. Oh, they got both of them? All right, excuse me. Excuse me. I will take this. Aw. Watch this, guys. No hey, 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 hey. Okay. The toys are gonna be very impressed. Our perseverance has I need that star. Please. Thank you. You saved my life. Feels like they really didn't want to give that. <laughs> no, they did not. Okay. What are they doing to the frogs? Don't you dare! <laughs> oh, yes, baby. The band is ready. Are we going to get a star out of this? I see a lot of stars. Begin performance. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What? 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 Oh, let's go. We got this. I know it's two. No. No! <laughs> nope. There we go. There we go. 
Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We got this. Hey, let's go. Oh, do you have a star for us? No? Okay. We do have one precious chest, though. Smells like something good is inside. Bitter? Did he say bitter? All right, let's get this. Okay, I got it. Okay, 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 okay. I need to find the other star. This did not give me the star that I was looking for. Keep up. So I have to go this way. Ah, okay. Keep up. I see. Defend the star. Sorry. I'll approve you. The doctor is by royal decree. Where is the? Oh, it's stuck in the glue. <laughs> uh, that should be it, right? No, okay. Oh, calm down. Mind the side of Come on, I want my alt, please. One with the force. A bitter pill to swallow. Seems like an emergency. Surrender. Is that it? No! Nope. Alright! Your sins weigh upon your soul. Alright, buddy. You're gonna have to sit down for this. <laughs> That's gotta be it, right? Oh no 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 go back Go back I thought that was to uh rewind time All right, well, how, uh, pull hard. Okay. Maybe, what about you? Pull hard? Okay, yes. Yes! Come on, guys, get over here. Ben, Jerry, help me pull him. Ready? One, two, three, go! Thanks. I'll take the star, please. You did great. Now give me the star. Another one in the bag. Okay. Woo! Hold on. What was over here? I saw gold. We'll look at that another time. Okay. Whew, that was a job and a half. Uh, how are you doing? You found them all? Uh, yep, here they are. Wow. <laughs> you guys are efficient. Well, now let's go hang them up in the sky. I wouldn't say that we were efficient, but we got the job done. In the sky? Uh, how do we get up there? Would we have to act like Skirk? <laughs> chuck the chuck the stars up to the sky? Oh. <laughs> Got us covered. We will, of course, be taking the Aerial Express. Oh, a little tie into Star Rail. Is that a flying train? <laughs> hey, you already took a train that runs on water. Is a flying train really that much weirder? I guess not. I mean, not in this fairy tale. Well, at least the Maritime Express still runs on a track. Oh, come on. Don't worry about it. This train has been blessed by the goddess of prophecy. Its whole purpose is to protect the metropole skies. It took me a lot of effort to find it, you know. I don't think anyone's used it in, like, a mm, hundred years. Wow. A hundred years? Are you sure it's safe? Let's not forget that the goddess of prophecy's magic has been going haywire recently. Well... It's not like we have any other options. Unless you want to do the honors, Paimon. 
Fancy flying up there on your own? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, thank you. It's way too high up. Oh, wait, Milu. You've got a feel for how magic works here. Can you do your thing and sense if this train is a real deal? I can try. Hmm. Yes, I can sense traces of magic. But it's different from the kind I felt in the forest, so... I don't know. Hmm. Okay, fine. Guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, yep. That's the spirit. I'll come with you. Miss Nilu, will you be joining us? I think I'll stay behind. That way, if something does go wrong, you'll have someone on the ground to get you some yeah. that, That's very, that's very, very good idea. That makes sense. If the yep. train does break down, you can make us a giant origami crane to come bail us out. <laughs> or if a crane's too difficult, a finch could work. Well, Paimon can fly, so it's not like she could fall. I mean, she could fall if she wanted to. All right. Let's take the star train. Choo choo. Let's go. Choo choo. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby, Whoa, this is awesome. Is what an amazing feeling. I've never been on a flying train before. This is so cool. Neither have we. Can I go up there with you? Oh, I can. Place. That should do it. On to the next location. All right. This is awesome. All right, keep an eye out, place. No! Oh, we missed it. Oh, good, 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 good. It stops. Woo! We are so high up. Are we? Oh my gosh. Paimon. The hard right, we got a few more over. up here. After that, it's downhill all the way. Don't say downhill all the way! That is the last thing Paimon wants to hear! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Alright, ready? This is just gonna drop. I'm scared. Cussing? No? Okay. We just, just drop. Great job. It looked like it all went smoothly. Yeah, really smooth. Yeah, and it was an absolute blast, too. You got to ride with us next time, Miss Nilu. Huh? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, thanks for... Uh-oh. Halt! What do you think you're doing? Get out of my way! What the? What's going on? Didn't we deal with these guys earlier? Your Majesty, there. Let us through. Uh oh. Stay back. It's okay. Let them through. What's going on? <laughs> you wound up too tight. <laughs> y your Majesty, could we please ask you? Not to turn the gear that connects up to the sky. And why is that? As you have seen, the goddess's gift is very important to us. It keeps us from harm and protects our very lives. Some of us, we just aren't ready to lose that protection. I see. Mm. I understand. Huh? Your Majesty, do you mean... I won't turn that gear. Not until you're ready. What? What if I turn it, though? I've said before that the Metropole belongs to the people, and they should have the right to decide its future. <sighs> but let me ask you this. How do you plan to solve the issues we are currently facing? Well, we'll start by rescuing the people that have gotten stuck, and then... 
We'll find a way to figure out the true cause of this crisis. And have you made any headway on that? The true cause, I mean. Unfortunately not. Hey, you little... <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend, but it's the truth. You have friends and family that have been affected, don't you? That have gotten stuck? Duh. I understand your concerns. But if we They're let just this scared. travel on for much I get longer, it. the situation may well get worse. More and more people will be frozen by the goddess's magic. Yes, but if we turn that gear now, all the tracks in this city will disappear. I mean, do we know that for sure? I know this is a hard decision to make. But have you ever thought about why the goddess might have made things this way in the first place? Huh? Why do you think she might decide to take back her gift and stop revealing further prophecies about the future? Are you saying she has abandoned us? No, quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The goddess dearly loves this world and all the people of Simulanka. And because she loves you so much, she wants you to be able to choose your own path. <sighs> Every parent hopes their child will have a happy and carefree life. But if they're overprotective, then all they'll manage to do is keep their child trapped. If a mother bird lets her baby ride on her wings for too long, her child will never learn how to fly. Mm. Perhaps the goddess of prophecy has always known that one day she'll have to let go. Children can only become independent if they're allowed to form their own opinions, make their own decisions, and deal with the consequences on their own. Only then will they be able to continue their journey alone, even after their parents are gone. Ooh, that one hit a little bit for Navia. But we've relied on the goddess's protection for so long, we don't know what it's like to go it alone. We don't know if we have what it takes. Are you kidding me? I think you've proven yourselves more than capable of that. What do you mean? You made a call in a time of crisis, and you've come all this way to talk to me. Even the guards couldn't stop you. That must have taken a lot of courage. But we only did it because we were scared. Why you set out on the journey doesn't matter. What matters is that you've proven you can choose your own path. <sighs> My friend, I fear our king is right. It is time for us to face our fears. <laughs> but, but we... <laughs> we can't go on living like this. Living in fear. Look at what it's driven you to do. You threw away a star personally created by the goddess of prophecy herself. <laughs> you once revered her more than any of us. And I think the king is right. She hasn't abandoned us. So, why don't we put our trust in her one more time? <laughs> Come on, Olivier. I don't care anymore. Do what you want. You do care. That's why he came up here. Aw, he left. Well... I'm sorry about my friend. It happens. That's just how he is. Always had a terrible temper. Please accept my apology for his impudent behavior. Is it just me, or... Has he accepted the goddess's prophecy? I think so. Not that you'll ever hear him admit it out loud. Your Majesty, please turn Here the go up to the sky. So, you've made up your mind? About giving up the goddess's gift? Yes, I've made up my mind. But maybe losing the gift isn't what this is about anymore. Because we've gained something, too. You have given us courage. <laughs> well said. I am proud of your decision. Now, gather around, everyone. Okay. And join me as we make the night sky of this wonderful city turn once more. I am very curious to see what this looks like. Here we go! 
Push! Is Kirara still in the forest? Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Whoa! Oh, that is awesome. Dang. That is so cool. So the stars hanging in the sky. It really is like a music, music box. Notes. This entire metropole is a huge music box. That is box. so cool. That's incredible. <sighs> How do you feel? A little scared and uncertain, but for some reason, I feel a lot more at ease. It's as if some kind of huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Uh, figured out any next steps? To be honest, not really. But maybe I can start by having a heart-to-heart -heart with that stubborn friend of mine. There you go. I have an idea. If you don't know what to do, why don't you start by helping the people around you? You mean, the people who got stuck because of the goddess's magic? I mean, anyone and everyone who needs your help. By helping others, you'll eventually find your own path. Trust me, I have experience in this. What kind of experience, I love the music. Hmm, I uh, yes. We'll need a formal organization with a catchy name before we go out and start <laughs> Why don't we call it the Spina di Rosula? Nice. Spina di Rosula? Hey, <laughs> she even has her umbrella. Ooh, or even the Spina di Rosula di Simulonka. Oh, yeah, nice. Another branch. Wow, big expansion for the Spina. Moving into other worlds now. <laughs> Spina di Rosula. <laughs> I like it. It's a great name. Let's do as your majesty suggests. Well then, <laughs> how about I appoint you as the head of the Spina in Simulanka? While I'm off fighting the dragon with the other heroes, yes. it'll be your responsibility to work with the guards and take good care of the people in the metropole. What? You're planning on fighting the dragon? Yes! But no, your majesty, you must reconsider! He's right. Your majesty, you can't. How are you two on the same side all of a sudden? Perhaps your majesty is unaware of this. The great dragon suddenly broke out from the titanium mines one day and the tore the, the world to pieces. After that, it spat out a strange fog that surrounded a whole island. No one knows what lies beyond the fog, and no one knows what has become of that poor island. Before your majesty arrived, we dispatched many soldiers to fight the dragon, but none came back alive. Yikes. Sounds worse than we thought. Isn't that all the more reason for us to go? There could still be guards trapped there, waiting for someone to rescue them. King Navia is right. We cannot simply stand by and watch as the people of this world suffer. <sighs> very well. It is time Though to slay a dragon. For very long, your majesty. Two days is enough for me to have learned that once your mind is set, any attempts to change it are futile. <laughs> You're a pretty <laughs> good judge of character. Um, he probably didn't mean that as a compliment. Oh. Since you're serious about this, <laughs> I won't try and stop you. There's only one way to reach the end of the world, and that's by taking the Maritime Express. Oh, right. So there's a line going there too? Yes. It was originally built to serve the workers commuting to the Titanium Mines, but it has been abandoned since the I'm so attack. excited. I'll tell the conductor to wait for you at the platform by the side gate to the Metropole first thing tomorrow morning. You're embarking on an extremely dangerous adventure. Please be careful, your majesty and friends. 
Oh, thank you for your concern. While I'm gone, I leave the Metropole in your capable hands. Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Boss from now on. That's what everyone in the Spina calls me, and it's what I'm used to. Yes, Boss. So, the plan for tomorrow is... Journey across the ocean, yep. make it to the end of the world, and defeat a dragon. Yeah, sounds easy enough. Ooh, that's an adventure and a half. Do all storybook heroes have to work this hard? Oh, yeah. At least we'll get to see some amazing scenery along the way, right? Besides, we'll have each other. It'll be a shared experience that we'll never forget. Plus, we're pretty well equipped for a classic heroes versus dragon yeah. story. Yeah. We got Miss Nilu as our magic caster, and I... I guess I'm the melee warrior who leads the charge? Yep. Hanan can definitely see that. <laughs> anyway, those are tomorrow's problems. Right now, all Paimon wants is to eat a proper meal, because worst case scenario, if Paimon ends up getting eaten by a dragon, she wants to do it on a full stomach. And something about the end of the world doesn't sound like a great place for food options. <laughs> hmm. Well, the origami animals in the forest only drink magic tonic. What do the toy people here in Constellation Metropole eat? Vegetable oil and sawdust, I think. Uh-oh. No! Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, page two complete. Oh, man, this is so good. But that is it for today's video. I am in love with this summer event. It is just so much fun exploring this world. And, uh, you know, I have never been so distracted playing this game. The walking around, seeing paper birds just random things to do and uh i am loving it i am loving this so much and i hope you are enjoying this as well but that is it for today's video make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i will definitely see you in the next video bye